The Sierpinski carpet is a plain fractal first described by Vatswiv Sierpinski in 1916. The carpet is one generalization of the cantor set to two dimensions, another is the cantor dust. The technique of subdividing a shape into smaller copies of itself, removing one or more copies, and continuing recursively can be extended to other shapes. For instance, subdividing an equilateral triangle into four equilateral triangles, removing the middle triangle, and recursing leads to the Sierpinski triangle. In three dimensions, a similar construction based on cubes produces the Sierpinski sponge and the Menge sponge. Construction The construction of the Sierpinski carpet begins with a square. The square is cut into nine congruent subsquares in a 3 by 3 grid, and the central subsquare is removed. The same procedure is then applied recursively to the remaining eight subsquares, ad infinitum. The process of recursively removing squares is an example of a finite subdivision rule. The Sierpinski carpet can also be created by iterating every pixel in a square and using the following algorithm to decide if the pixel is filled. The following implementation is valid C, C++, and Java. Asterisk 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 decides if a point at a specific location is filled or not. This works by iteration first checking if asterisk the pixel is unfilled in successively larger squares or cannot be in the center of any larger square. Asterisk it param x is the x coordinate of the point being checked with 0 being the first pixel asterisk it param y is the y coordinate of the point being checked with 0 being the first pixel asterisk it return 1 if it is to be filled or 0 if it is open asterisk into the open sky carpet pixel filled while when either of these reaches 0 the pixel is determined to be on the edge at that square level and must be filled if checks if the pixel is in the center for the current square level return 0 x equals 3 x and y are decremented to check the next larger square level y equals equals 3, return 1, if all possible. Square levels are checked and the pixel is not determined, to be open it must be filled, process properties. The area of the carpet is 0. Proof. Denote by i the area of iteration i, then i plus 1 equals 8 ninths i, so i equals i, which tends to 0 as i goes to infinity. The interior of the carpet is empty. Proof. Suppose by contradiction that there is a point P in the interior of the carpet, then there is a square centered at P which is entirely contained in the carpet. This square contains a smaller square whose coordinates are multiples of one third K for some K. But this square must have been held in iteration K, so it can't be contained in the carpet, a contradiction. The Hausdorff dimension of the carpet is log 8, log 31.8928. Sierpinski demonstrated that his carpet is a universal plane curve, that is, the Sierpinski carpet is a compact subset of the plane with Lebesgue covering dimension 1, and every subset of the plane with these properties is homeomorphic to some subset of the Sierpinski carpet. This universality of the Sierpinski carpet is not a universal property in the sense of category theory. It does not uniquely characterize this space up to homeomorphism. For example, the disjoint union of a Sierpinski carpet in a circle is also a universal plane curve. However, in 1958, Gordon Wyburn uniquely characterized the Sierpinski carpet as follows. Any curve that is locally connected and has no local cut points is homeomorphic to the Sierpinski carpet. Here a local cut point is a point P for which some connected neighborhood U of P has the property that U P is not connected. So, for example, any point of the circle is a local cut point. In the same paper Wyburn gave another characterization of the Sierpinski carpet. Recall that a continuum is a non-empty connected compact metric space. Suppose X is a continuum embedded in the plane. Suppose its complement in the plane has countably many connected components and suppose the diameter of goes to zero is the boundary of and the boundary of a disjoint if 
The boundary of is a simple closed curve for each. The union of the boundaries of the sets is dense in X. Then X is homeomorphic to the Sierpinski carpet. Brownian motion on the Sierpinski carpet. The topic of Brownian motion on the Sierpinski carpet has attracted interest in recent years. Martin Barlow and Richard Bass have shown that a random walk on the Sierpinski carpet diffuses at a slower rate than an unrestricted random walk in the plane. The latter reaches a mean distance proportional to n one half after n steps. But the random walk on the discrete Sierpinski carpet reaches only a mean distance proportional to n one beta for some beta greater than two. They also showed that this random walk satisfies stronger large deviation inequalities and that it satisfies the elliptic Carnac inequality without satisfying the parabolic one. The existence of such an example was an open problem for many years. Wallace sieve, a variation of the Sierpinski carpet, called the Wallace sieve, starts in the same way, by subdividing the unit square into nine smaller squares and removing the middle of them. At the next level of subdivision, it subdivides each of the squares into 25 smaller squares and removes the middle one, and it continues at the ith step by subdividing each square into two smaller squares and removing the middle one. By the Wallace product, the area of the resulting set is pi 4, unlike the standard Sierpinski carpet which has zero limiting area. However, by the results of Wyburn mentioned above, we can see that the Wallace sieve is homeomorphic to the Sierpinski carpet. In particular, its interior is still empty. Applications Mobile phone and Wi-Fi fractal antennas have been produced in the form of few iterations of the Sierpinski carpet. Due to their self-similarity and scale invariance, they easily accommodate multiple frequencies. They are also easy to fabricate in smaller than conventional antennas of similar performance, thus being optimal for pocket-sized mobile phones.